Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is The Schmo, and today's episode is brought to you by Elite Sweets. The Schmo's talking the protein donut. Absolutely delicious. We're talking 11 grams of protein, 3 grams of net carbs, and only 1 gram of sugar. The Schmo's go-to snack right now. Look at this packaging. Three flavors. They got birthday cake. They got cinnamon sugar. They got chocolate. Excellent donuts, and enjoy it when you're lounging and watching the sun go down. Check them out. Use the promo code the Schmo 50 to get 50% off. Use the link in the description below. And now let's get to the sugar show. Gluten free. This is the Schmo with the pro with the number 12 ranked. UFC Bantamweight, the one and only sugar show inside the gaming apartment here in Phoenix, Arizona. How we doing? I can't complain. I'm uh, I'm living, living. You certainly are, but the schmo feels a little outdated over here. We got the black jersey on. We got the best merch over here. Sugar show matches the glasses, but uh, you're not unranked anymore, man. That kind of makes it more legendary. That was a, you know a special time in my career when I was unranked, and uh, you know ideally. I'll never not be unranked again. So, it's kind of a legendary jersey. Well, it's legendary, but speaking of legendary, the Schmo really liked the pink one, man. The Schmo wants to order that pink jersey. It's nowhere to be found. How do we get that? I'm not saying the Schmo wants to exchange, but, uh, you know, the Schmo really wants the pink one. Dude, the pink one? It happened with this one, too. They sell out. People are like, hey, where can I get it? I'm like, dude, when I post on Instagram and say limited edition, that means there's only a limited amount of jerseys well the schmo wants the dana white son treatment and get an extra well, jersey i know i hit up my team i said hey is there any chance we have an extra jersey and they said they did i, I mean i could hit them up again i don't know can't promise i'm they may have said that was the last one um but I can see what I can do, champ. I can see what I can do. The Schmo's a large. We outgrown the Schmedium. But the, over the Schmo's shoulder over here, we got Schmitty. Real silent Bob vibes going on here, man. He's like your walking bodyguard or something. Can't get rid of this guy. 6'7", 320. Uh, no, yeah, this was my gaming apartment. But now it's the Schmitty Brendan fucking crib. They live here. They live upstairs. I game downstairs. It's more of their house than mine. Man, ever since you went to Jerry World over there in Dallas, Texas, and met Jerry Jones, the Cowboys gaming, life's only been up for you, man. Yeah, I wish I was actually going to meet Jerry, unfortunately, but you know what? The whole Cowboys shit was fun. Good times. Yeah. Well, this week, obviously, there's a big fight between Israel Adesanya and Robert Whitaker, but did you hear the news of Israel Adesanya making bank, getting paid? Maybe the second most highest paid fighter in the UFC? What do you make of this new contract? Second highest paid fighter in the UFC, like in the, on the current roster. I'd imagine only Conor McGregor makes more. Yeah, I mean, that's interesting. That's, uh, you know, well-deserved, 100%. What do you make of that, though? Uh, I have two more fights on my contract, and I uh, plan on being up there in, in, in the highest paid. And I know a lot of people, I don't even really know if people are going to have a tough time with that because it's the entertainment business. And when it comes to the entertainment, entertainment business, no one does it like the Sugar Show. So... You know, I think uh, after these couple fights, I think I'm going to have a really nice, good-looking contract. Well, I was going to say, speaking of good-looking contract, what are the chances that the Sugar Show fights for a gold belt outside of the UFC before he fights for a gold belt inside the UFC? Fighting for a gold belt outside the UFC? What do you mean? Well, just let's say the Sugar Show is fighting for a championship, but it's not in the UFC. Yeah, I mean, you never know. This world's pretty crazy, Schmo. You never know what's going to happen. But, you know, ideally I stay with the UFC. That's, uh, I love the UFC. You know, they treat me well. I, I have a good relationship with the UFC. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the UFC outside of uh, being a fighter. Just the whole business they run. Dana's the man. So, I'd like to stay, but you never know. That's why you can't complain. Can't complain. Yeah, well, let's talk about something going on also at the top of your division, Bantamweight division. What does Aljamain Sterling have to do in order to beat Pewter Jan? I haven't even thought about that fight. Really not even that interested, to be honest. I mean, I forgot they were fighting, to be completely honest. Uh, I'm excited for fights like Colby versus Jorge. You know, those are the fights that I'm excited about. I'm not really too interested in Peter versus Aljo, to be honest. Well, the juice doesn't have the squeeze in the division, it seems. But something you may also have interest in is these Nelk boys, man. What are the chances that Shooker Sean O'Malley becomes a Nelk boy when it's all said and done? I will say, 
I am a happy dad. Um, you know, me and the Nelk boys have a great relationship. Pumped Steve. I don't think Kyle's going to be uh, out in Houston or Salim, but I know Steve's going to Houston, so I'm going to meet up with the boys Saturday. And uh, we get along. You know, I think when it comes to full sending anything, I'm, I'm, I'm about full sending, whether it's, you know, obviously when I go out, I full send. I know how to go hard, you know, a little too hard sometimes. But also when it comes down to getting into the fight camp, I'm full send in fight camp. You know, when I'm gaming, you see me, I was full send gaming, baby. Full send meaning to me is just full sending in whatever you're doing, and I think I represent that very well. The Schmo's getting Dennis Rodman vibes, man, because obviously you got the colorful hair like Rodman, but when it comes to being the best at your craft, he was the master rebounder, and uh, you're the master sender. Yeah, I might get that tatted. Master sender. Yeah. Kind of looks like masturbator. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see. Listen, there might be room on the other side of the neck. Final message for the Sugar Show fans out there worldwide. Yeah, the Sugar Show fans are the best in the world. And like you said it, worldwide. They're all over the fucking world. It's crazy. I'm going to be in Houston tomorrow night, Friday night. Well, I don't know if this drops, when it drops, but I'm going to do an appearance at Lil Woodrow's. Going to go say what up to the people. Always love doing stuff like that, taking pics, signing shit. Um, Sugar Show's taking over. 2022 might not fight three times this year. Definitely won't fight three times this year. Looking to fight two times this year, um, you know, in 2023. Well, let's not get it carried away. 2022, let's look. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fight in July. That's that's kind of the next time frame. I know that's... International Fight Week. International Fight Week in Vegas. Um, that's kind of the next goal. Um, so hopefully hopefully that gets worked out. All right, Schmitty, final word. Let's fucking go, Jobins. 16-0 in July, possibly. <laughs> He's the pro, I'm the schmo, the champion of gaming. We're out. <laughs>